serious. And this story is incredibly distressing, unfortunately. It involves animal cruelty and contains graphic images. Over the weekend, the annual Taiji dolphin slaughter began in Japan. And again, as I mentioned, this report is very graphic in its nature. This is Vision, live streamed early this afternoon of about 200 bottlenosed dolphins penned in a cove at Taiji, Japan. What awaits them is nothing short of horrific. The waters of the cove in Taiji in Japan run red with their blood at this time of the year. They will be brutally slaughtered in the annual Taiji dolphin kill, murdered for their meat. It's hard to believe it still happens. The international community is really outraged, united in their outrage against what happens to the dolphins in Taiji. The Cove is an Oscar-winning documentary that revealed the Taiji brutality to the world in 2009. But despite ongoing campaigns to stop it, the cruelty continues each year. It is absolutely courageous, the people that go to the Cove and try to further expose what's happening to the world. The Sea Shepherd Society has been running a live stream all day. The accompanying tweets are distressing. Skiffs re-enter the cove and run over injured dolphins. Taiji is not about culture, it's about greed and bloodlust. The Japanese claim it is steeped in culture, but they've been killing dolphins at Taiji Cove for centuries. No culture, no tradition can actually justify such terrible barbaric cruelty. The slaughter is due to be carried out over the next few days. Hundreds of defenceless dolphins will meet a traumatic, bloody end. As a human being, it's hard not to feel ashamed. We here at the project obviously completely disagree with animal cruelty. That's why we decided to show those images, unfortunately. Somebody else who agrees with us is Dr Chris Brown, and he's in Sydney and has been following this today for us. Chris, obviously, as I just mentioned, we all love animals, but this must really hurt someone like you who spends their time trying to save animals. Will all those dolphins currently penned in there be killed? Look, it's obviously incredibly hard to get any sort of information out of the Taji authorities, but if you go on the trend of previous kills, around 30 will be taken off to be, I guess, siphoned off into the aquarium trade, into marine parks. The remaining around 200, unfortunately, will be killed. Uh, and I guess therein lies the tragedy. Um, these, these are incredibly sensitive creatures with very strong family units. So for them to all witness this is, um, is something beyond belief. You mentioned marine parks there. I mean, is there a chance here in Australia when we go to see dolphins and things like that in our animal parks, we might be seeing some of those? Look, I think initially it's probably unlikely, but what tends to happen with a lot of marine parks is that dolphins do get moved from park to park. So while it may not be first hand, I think second or third hand, it may be possible that a dolphin that has been taken from Taji does end up in, in an Australian park. It, it'd be unfortunate, but, but certainly um, in, in this situation, we do actually have this albino dolphin, which has drawn a lot of media attention. So I guess he is going to be tracked very closely to see where he ends up. Chris, the Japanese argue this is uh, cultural and historical, and they can't understand why we get so upset given that we have, uh, you know, major kangaroo culls, for example. Uh, we ship sheep live offshore and many of them die. I mean, what's the difference? Look, I think, Steve, it's, it's quite unfair to, to say what form of killing is better than the other because, look, none, none is, is great. Uh, really, when it comes to dolphins, the, the thing that I find most distressing about this is the fact that research is really showing that dolphins have an incredible amount of awareness of a situation, an incredible amount of emotional sensitivity, and to the point where their brains have, have been analysed and they have a part of their brain that is even more developed than ours when it comes to emotion. So if you can imagine a, a group of people being rounded up and, and being aware of their fate, then what these dolphins are going through right now would be, would be something very similar and, and something very sobering and very disturbing. Doc, is there anything people power can do to stop this, you know, the dolphin kill? Yeah, Pete, look, I think, you know, the, the very nature of Japanese culture is that it is very traditional. Um, and it's also built around a fear of losing face. So I think that the approach really has to be to make as much noise as we can about this, generate as much media attention. So really the, the fear of losing face in changing the decision becomes less than the fear of the shame that, that really presiding over such an in, inhumane act of, of, of murder really um, becomes. So that really has to be the approach. And part of the reason why we decided to tell this story tonight, uh, Chris, we appreciate your time as always. Thanks, mate. Stick around. Lots more coming up after the break. Coming up, why Ricky...